All right, now that we've installed just the installation code, let's talk about using this plugin. So how do I turn this image right here into my website mockup display? Well, all you need to do is go to your design tab, custom CSS. We need to target this image block. So I have this great tool that I use. It's totally free on the Google Chrome web store. If you type in uh, Google Chrome Squarespace ID Finder, this will pop up. Add this to your Chrome website. It makes it very simple to get the block IDs of any block on your website. So just toggle it on, grab the block ID of the image block that you want to turn into the mockup display and paste it into your custom CSS area, wrapping it in these uh, in these these curly brackets. Now all we need to do is add this bit of CSS to it. WM plugin dash plugin colon website mockup. So just do that, hit save, and then we need to refresh it. So I'm gonna hit refresh. <laughs> and there it is. So now this is working. It's as we want. As we hover over it, you see it just scrolls over. That's great. And then on mobile, you see it turns in, the aspect ratio changes, and we were able to just scroll it on mobile because obviously on touch, you don't have that hover effect. So that is great, but I want to customize this a little bit. So let's go back to our website, scroll down one more, and we have this customize area where we can change any of these styles that we want. So here's just the example as we change it. And here's the CSS code that we, we, we will want to add into that custom CSS area. Okay, so let's go back to demo. Maybe I want the speed to be a little slower, so I'm gonna change that to 15 seconds. And notice this is going a little bit slower. Our border thickness, let's add a border, maybe two pixels. We can keep that as black. Uh, let's do maybe a light shadow, maybe a medium shadow, there we go. Medium shadow there. Uh, the aspect ratio, I wanna keep this, I can change this to 16 by nine, that might be what I want. Uh, but you can also change it for tablet and mobile as well, but we'll just keep all of these at 16 by nine. Uh, and then hover scale, I do want this to grow a little bit. So I'm gonna do about two pixels of growth. So notice now as I hover over it, it grows a little bit. Uh, and then on mobile view, let's toggle into the mobile view. Notice we get this little arrow, this little shadow effect, and then it, nothing works as we hover, but we scroll because that's how it works. So I wanna change this arrow maybe to, uh, to black and maybe the background color maybe to white, just so this arrow pops out a little bit more. Also, this uh, we have our little indicator right there. Maybe I want that to have a little bit of pop of color. So our scroll bar color, let's change that to sort of a brighter red so we can see that a little bit more. Okay, so there we go. That's what I want. I've styled this as I want. So I'm gonna go over to my code tab and I'm just gonna hit copy. Now I'm gonna go over to your website and just paste that right into the custom CSS area and boom, it automatically adjusts to all the settings that you have. Now these are gonna be global settings, okay? These are going to apply to every single um, uh, website mockup block that you have. Everything you've targeted using this code, these settings are going to apply to. But maybe I want to override those styles for specific blocks. Maybe I want one, one template is a lot longer, so I want the speed of it maybe to be a bit faster. So just copy whatever style you want to change, copy, and just put it into here. So I'm gonna change our speed maybe for this one down to seven seconds. Now this will override whatever the global styles you've added. So notice this is going a bit faster now. So that is how this works. We can change it, maybe the border color. We want to change that to red, and there we go. So that is how this plugin works. Let me know if you have any other questions. Um, I will probably add and uh, change some other things as we go, but this is just a general idea of how this works. Let me know if you have any other questions, and I hope you have a great day.